straight practicalities, all of this prep work, mm -hmm. is it on files on screens? Is it written on pages in yeah. texts? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's complicated. Uh, it definitely, it's, it's on computers, so my, and, and my set designer will have every scene. Um, like we use maquettes and right. they're all photographed. So we, we refer to them when we're talking about scenes. We could come from here or we could go from there or we could come here. So he's sitting around the table that, with the team and you got a, a, a TV screen up there. They've sketched and all the designs are right. there. We spread the, all of those But are you out. putting the maquettes up on the screen or is the they're actual on my table. A physical so the, thing? The, now the maquettes like would be this big. And that would go on my table, and we look at it, and I have figurines that are scale. It's my favorite thing. And then I just, I play, and I move people around. It's really fun. <laughs> it's really Do great. you name the figurines? No, we just, it's just a stick, but they're scale. Yeah, but do they have names? Oh, yes, we name them, and, and they, some of them, like, I get special treats from my designer because they build them, and, like, they literally build this set to scale on a, a maquette. We, and I, Who gets the figurines and maquettes afterwards? can't tell you that. Maybe I have a few in my house. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't. How about the? If I'd known, I would have brought some today theater. for oh, your little figurines. Because um, they're all the external, it's the externalization of your imagination. That's what we're talking yeah. about. We want to know what's happening inside yeah. Dawn. How should she so do I all that? I put them there because then I go, okay, and then I step back and I put this one here and here and I realize because it's scale, oh, that's going to be a problem with this set piece because we're not going to be able to see. It does, it really works, the science works. Okay. And so, and then and then all of my collaborators are brilliant and they all have great ideas. And we, you know, it, it's it, it's good when they tell the truth and go, yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. And we do have that thing where it's no bad ideas, everybody, that's not true. We do actually, no, that's terrible, let's not do that. You know, and, and I come up with ideas and I do, I do kind of push a little bit to go, I had an idea. And, you know, and everyone sits around the table and Michael Gianfrancesco, Dana Osborne, um, you know, uh, Michael Walton, longtime collaborators for me, and alas, Peter McBoyle, who has since just passed away, which has been hard for our entire family. Um, but we sit together. I have an idea and I can see them all just kind of go, uh oh, OK, <laughs> what is it? And I have a lot of black and white photography. We love it. We collect it and I'm obsessed with it. And I love it because I've always, I, when I look at black and white photography of, of a time, I feel like, what would it be like to go inside it? Because it would be color. The world would be color. So, you know, photos from the 40s and late 40s. And I was doing a Guys and Dolls a few years ago. And I said, what if we started the show? This was the resetting the clock in black and white. Everything on stage. So there's, you know, there's a Runyon Land. The beginning of Guys and Dolls had this whole kind of prologue. I said, but what if they were all in black and white? And, you know, it's all Renan's characters and introducing all these people and people of New York City and the pulse of New York City. And they're like, yes, okay, yes, we could do that. I said, what if, though, we take a moment and we shift a color and then we have an explosion of music and we go. And they're like, yes, cool. So will they leave and they'll go and put color? I said, no, what if, <laughs> and now it's getting to the, uh-oh, they do it on stage in front of the audience. I didn't see the show. I wish I'd seen it. But we turned the lights out. Did you do it? I did. So we turned the lights out. Fuck. And they said, well, like, what are you talking about? My costume designer's Dan is going, so, like, we have 20 seconds. Or I said, like, I'm thinking 11. And they all just looked at me like, no, what? No. <laughs> what? I said, but but we could cut away to a photographer doing a shot. Like that's the cutaway, right? My eyes are going to this photographer, go total blackout on stage, cut away, 10 seconds, they pull, like we had baby carriages on stage and there was stuff inside the baby carriages. We should have sold tickets to the infrared because it went, it went horribly for a long time in, in rehearsing it. People were- So to be clear, pissed. You were in black and white visually. Yeah, black you and turned clothes. the lights they're out under, on stage. They were over, so they were underdressed. So they had black and white clothes, okay. and then under that, they ripped those off, threw them in the baby carriages, threw them down the vom, threw them down whatever they could find, and they had color on. Right. And then they, when the lights came up, we froze them in a position. I froze them there. Lights went out. We got it down to 10 seconds, by the way. Lights came up, and they were all in color, including like black and white balloons we switched out. It was incredible. It was a disaster for a long time. 
to, and there is a point, you know, as a director, you go, ah, oh, is this going to work? Should I, should I bail? Should we, you know, and, and to be clear like, no, no, in, no. in the 10 seconds, the audience is watching. You've stayed a little, a little photographer. Scene. So, so she's a photographer and she's looking up okay. and she's got an old camera, which was really interesting to look at. And then she turned around and flashed and the lights came up and they were all in color. Right. Well, I can't tell you how many people in the audience, it was a great reaction, which was very rewarding for everybody, but that thought it was lighting. Oh my God. They thought it was a lighting move. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But it was, I mean, we really, honestly, we, we laughed a lot because people, <laughs> you know, even the boxing gloves, there was a boxer and he had black <clears> and white, and he, and he had to get the, you know, but stuff would end up, you know, people would end up half dressed and.